his opponent, boxing out of the blue corner, representing Germany, Nelvi Tiafak. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. And if you're going to close the show, ladies and gentlemen, this is the way you want to do a super heavyweights in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. I am David Austin. And here we are, the final bout. Joe Rogan? <laughs> I love it, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. The big boy's getting ready to get it on. We're still here in the convention center in Pueblo, Colorado, ladies and gentlemen. Go my guy, Joe Bobin. <laughs> Says we're dropping a big bomb here in Pueblo, Colorado And I tell you what, those bombs don't get much bigger Than the two that are in the ring right now Round one Boxing out of the red corner Representing Azerbaijan is Mohamed Abdulayev And his opponent from Germany In the blue corner, Nelvin Tiafak And here we go Had an opportunity to speak with both gentlemen This week <laughs> Abdulayev was a man of few words <laughs> we'll see what that translates to inside the ring right now. Tiafak as well. Fun to talk to. Not so much fun to be standing in front of in the center of a ring. But yet here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Final bout of this tournament. Super heavyweights on display. Team Germany in blue. Azerbaijan in red. And there, you see Tiafak pressing the issue momentarily, backing Abdulayev away. And again, we talked to Abdulayev here, you know, after his bout. And this is a this is a boxer who boxes conventional style and southpaw. So you have to be careful. And there's a lot more speed to this boxer than you might think. And when he switches from southpaw to conventional and back. And as they mix it up along the ropes, he throws a quick jab when he does it. So you have to be prepared for it. So let's keep our eye on that situation as he stands in the conventional stance right now. Now switching to the southpaw. You have to be careful with this guy. Missing with the big right hand over the top. And Tiafak has some real bad intentions on that right hand. And you don't want to be home when he comes knocking. Abdulayev throwing the left hand and trying to scoot away. Nice head movement there with his back along the ropes, making Tiafak miss. But he's got to make him pay when he does that. They come together in the center of the ring. Abdulayev taking his time, Tiafak. And you see the speed of that left hand. There, are, there is deceptive speed in Abdulayev. Don't be fooled by that package. Now Tiafak unloading big bombs. A lot of glove, a lot of arm. And we're headed to the end of round number one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and a quick right hand upstairs to the head of Tiafak by Abdulayev and again you have to be cautious with this boxer do not be fooled by the size of this man he has speed in both hands and when he switches back and forth from, con from the conventional stance to the southpaw stance he lets a punch go in the process but it is Tiafak that will take round number one according to the judges at ringside a lot more boxing in this contest, ladies and gentlemen. Round one in the books. 
two more scheduled, three minutes per round, no headgear for the men. I know this is amateur boxing, but at this level, you can certainly see this. That's what we have right now, international rules. As you see, Abduliev already off of his stool and out of his corner, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Second time. I don't know if I've seen anybody leave that corner that early before. Round two. I mean, he left the corner like he hadn't paid the rent. He had to get <laughs> leave before the landlord comes knocking. So here we go. Round number two underway. I expect to see Abduliev a little more active than he was in round number one. Tiafak stepping forward. Nice right hand over the top. I like the activity of Tiafak. Right hand thrown by Tiafak. Backs Abduliev away. You see how quickly Abduliev steps inside really quickly. Tiafak, nice job of avoiding whatever Abduliev had in store for him. Oh, that right hand gets home. That's straight right by Tiafak. Oh, my. Looping right hand over the top by Abdulia. And another. Maybe not a scoring blow, however. Left hand by Abdulia. Showing the jab from the conventional stance. They stand in the center of the ring, trade a bunch of big misses. Now Abdulayev will find himself in the corner. Position at ringside will come take a look. Keep your head up, says the official, and we won't have these moments. Clash of heads leads to that inspection by the physician at ringside. Everybody's okay. Let's get back to the action. And now you see TFI starting to load up that big right hand. Trying to get that left hand in first is Abduliev. Now slapping with the right. Tiafai, straight right hand to the chest of Abduliev. Now the jab by Abduliev. Now he steps forward and throws a big left hand. Stop, says the official. Cautioning both boxers to keep their heads up. Under a minute to go here in round number two. Big misses by Tiafak. Abduliev. Oh, and upstairs right there, a quick answer as Abduliev pawing with that right hand. Tiafak serious with the two he threw in return. And I haven't seen that switch and, and, and jab from Abduliev that we saw earlier in the tournament. Now, with his hands out to his side, inviting Tiafak to come forward. I don't know how good an idea that is. Short hook inside with the right hand by Abduliev in that exchange. May have been the best punch there. Hands down, arms wide, inviting Tiafat to step forward and make a mistake. Big miss by Abduliev, headed toward the bell. And that takes us to the end of round number two here in this contest. A lot more bravado from Mohamed Abduliev and Team Azerbaijan boxing out of the red corner. Don't know, however, if it's going to make a difference in the minds of the judges at ringside. We'll find out momentarily. The short answer to that question would be no. <laughs> As you see, the scoring, ladies and gentlemen, at the bottom of the screen. Nelvin Tiafak and Team Germany taking round two as well. And so now the question is, what kind of position does that put Team Azerbaijan and Mohamed Abdulayev? There's definitely work to be done. And as we saw in the previous bout, all it takes is one. Third and final round. Third round underway, ladies and gentlemen. 
Abduliev needing something big. Takes a right left combination from Tiafak. Follows Tiafak to the corner, then takes that combination. Now trying to work to the body. Throwing the left hand upstairs is Abduliev. Tiafak jabbing to the body. Coming upstairs with a big right, follows it up with an even bigger right. First one doesn't land cleanly, second one misses completely. But Abduliev has to get out of the way nonetheless. Abduliev has got to find some offense. The, the problem is to find that offense while staying away from Nelvin Tiafak. Left hook to the body in that exchange, but Tiafak still coming forward, throwing that big right hand, chopping down with the right hand right there. Tiafak, hands down by his side. Doesn't even seem to be paying attention to Abduliev at the moment. Just about a minute and a half to go here in the final round of our final contest of this tournament, ladies and gentlemen, super heavyweights in the ring. Mohamed Abduliev from Azerbaijan, boxing in red. Nelvin Tiafak, oh my goodness, in blue, representing Team Germany. Big punches being thrown. Even when guys that size miss, it seems dangerous, doesn't it? Big looping miss by Abduliev. And maybe fatigue starting to creep into this contest. Right hand Abduliev. Tia Fact, unable to get that right hand home. Abduliev taking a brief rest in the ropes. Back to his feet and back to action. Right hand Abduliev. Tia Fact starting to look like he could use a bit of a breather himself with 30 seconds to go in the contest. And now, with under 20 seconds to go, Abduliev, hands down. Both boxers with their hands down. 10 seconds to go, ladies and gentlemen. Left hook to the body by Abduliev. But we have made our way to the end of this round and the end of this contest and the end of USA Boxing's International Invitational, ladies and gentlemen. And we await the official word from our judges at ringside, ladies and gentlemen. I, however, feel pretty comfortable saying that I believe that Nelvin TFI is gonna come away with the victory there. Quality work by Nelvin and Team Germany in this tournament. You know, and when you look at what we've seen, it's tough, it's tough to say, you know, we, we can say that every team should be proud of what they were able to do, but it is so true because it's not easy to get here and be here and certainly not easy to box on the final day. Everyone should be proud of their team. And now we await the word, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Our winner, out of the blue corner, Nelly Tiafa. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, unanimous decision. Nelvin Tiafak boxing out of the blue corner representing Team Germany. <laughs> Can't say enough about what these teams have been able to do coming here all the way to Pueblo, Colorado. That's a long ride from Germany, long ride from Puerto Rico, from Azerbaijan, a long ride, ladies and gentlemen, from China. And we will be having the awards. A long ride from the Philippines. Here in the ring. I tell you what makes that ride a lot shorter on the way home is coming back with the gold. <laughs>